See this? This is a flower, obviously. And like every plant you guys have at home, it's known to take a lot of time to grow. It needs water, lightning, affection, a little bit of fixing sometimes, and more for it to perfectly bloom. And you know what this flower reminds me of? It reminds me of students. Because the same as flowers, students also need a lot of time to grow and flourish. If school or the educational system doesn't take care of their needs as soon as possible, they will fade and won't show the world their true colors and forms. Hello, Tedsters. I'm Yasmin, and I'm a flower. I mean, I'm a student. To be more precise, I'm not the best student out there. But let me be confident for once, I'm not the worst either. And in my long journey of studying, I've come to realize many things about school. For example, friends don't always be worth it, uh, teachers can be the biggest bullies out there, and studying is rarely fun. So today, I'm not here to talk about friends, I'm not here to talk about teachers either, I'm here to talk about the big bad wolf, education. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a guide to the ideal educational system. Let's all say it. The educational system in this planet is one of these two categories. The first one, where everything is sunshine, butterflies and rainbows, where studying is perfectly as it should be. But we wouldn't know about that, right? And the second category is a little bit more depressing. And why, you may ask? Because the first category make use of something everybody now has, but not everybody can make use of. Technology. See, the problem with the second category is that they see technology as a threat to education, when in reality, it really isn't. And if we get rid of this mindset, we can teach, learn, test, and make school a fun, bearable place for once. The key and the and, the, and the, mis the real key and the missing puzzle piece that connects technology with the ideal educational system is visualization, aka moving from books and long written paragraphs of lessons to reality, a more concrete and effective version. Countries such as USA, China, Australia, and Canada have already started thinking about this, but there are a thousand more places that still need to take a step further and make technology an ally, not an enemy, to reach the perfect development and improvement. And as a way to reach all of this, there are different teaching methods out there. But today, I would like to start with the celebrity of this speech, the one and only, the most underrated teaching method, gamification. So what is gamification and what links it the most to education? Well, gamification is a system based on a bunch of games to play that can push a person to discover his abilities through levels, quests, and challenges because games not only, not only allow us to collaborate with others through common points, but also share the global idea that experiences in games aren't spoon-fed education, but a fun, memorable play. Let me add to that the fact that games let us know if we are failing or succeeding at a moment's notice and allow us to try after a loss. Therefore, we get rid of all probabilities of embarrassing a student or creating unwanted feelings because of his failures. See, gamification not only takes care of the educational process, but also takes care of each student's mental health and comfortableness because stress in games is only superficial, nothing too serious. And think about it, how amazing it would be to transform that basic, boring history lesson or science lesson into a visualized play you will never forget. But don't worry, I came prepared for the few of you that will find gamification a time, effort, consuming method. Well, although I might not agree with you guys, I still love you just as much. So. As another solution, we can introduce another celebrity into this speech, interactive teaching. There are four different teaching methods in the educational system. Teacher-centered method, which explains itself and is quite close-ended, the method most of us know. Learner-centered method, where the teacher as well as the students are both learners benefiting from each other's. Content-focused method, that is a little bit similar to the interactive teaching methods and where discussions are the main focus. By creating a discussion space between the teacher and the students, we achieve our main goal. Through nominal group relationships and online interactions, such as chat, team idea mapping, group passing and brainstorming, we 
not only allow students to, to learn, but we also create the perfect bubble for them to socialize and study. But see, today I'm bringing you a new idea. If we can't change the whole learning process, let's at least develop the old one. Take, for example, the, teach the teacher-centered method, the method most of us know, and the method that most of societies agree on beca because it keeps the professional distance between the teacher and the students. If we decide to improve it, following our main goal to keep education fun and bearable, there is one big solution I advise, and it's to add mm, technology to it, SPICE. And by technology, I mean electronic devices that can make our life a whole lot better. Take, for example, smart boards, tables, and maps that could be maybe practical for history lessons, or holograms or projectors that could be practical to project something in a physics lesson or a certain part of a body in a science lesson. Let me also add to that 3D printers and doodlers. These are pretty cool headsets, and the list is long. I mean, if I was a teacher, and if I wasn't too broke to afford all of this, I would love to see myself use them. That's if I don't break them in my first try. Anyways, with the help of all of these, I can assure you that education will improve a lot within a short time, and that teaching will be a step closer to perfection. Well, to sum up everything I said, Learning can be very fun if we just use the perfect tools for it. Today, I give you many of the teaching methods out there that connects us with technology, with the, with that connects us with the world with the help of technology. I mean, we have five senses, let's at least use three of them. Learning happens not only by looking, but also by doing. So from now on, let's make schools less of a burden and make sure all students become beautiful, unique flowers. Thank you.